after losing to the Rams, the Vikings are one, two, and one. One win, two losses, and a tie. And that's basically one and three. One win, two losses, and a tie might as well be calculated as one win and three losses because at the end of the year when wins and losses are tallied up, a tie is just as a, it has just as much impact as a loss would. So the Vikings, I'll say they're basically one and three. Should they panic, though? Should the Vikings be overwhelmingly worried? I don't think so. Yeah, the Bills loss was concerning. When the Vikings got blown out by the Bills, I said, ooh, that's not good. That shouldn't happen. That's really concerning. But the Vikings lost 38-31 to to the LA Rams, who I think are the best team in football. They have nothing to hang their head at. The Vikings should not be ashamed. I mean, the Rams are my Super Bowl favorite. And the Vikings held their own against a great, fantastic football team. Really, truthfully, the Vikings are exactly where I thought they would be. I, mean, I said the Vikings would struggle a little bit this year. It's, remember, it's their first year with a new offensive coordinator, a new, head, a new quarterback, Kirk Cousins. I, I admit, I thought they'd be 2-2 two and two or 3-1 and one at this point of the year, but as far as the way the Vikings are playing on the field, they're doing really well, having a lot of high moments, and they're also making some mistakes, and that just comes with a new system and a new quarterback. I'm not overwhelmingly concerned for the Minnesota Vikings. I think they're going to be okay. You know, things are going to even out. The... It's all going to work out. Remember, in their division, they're going to play the Lions again this year. They're going to play uh, mo- twice this year. They're going to play the Bears. They're going to play the Packers again. And who are you going to pick in a Bears-Vikings matchup? Are you going to pick Mitch Trubisky or Kirk Cousins? Because both teams have great defenses. I'm going to pick Kirk Cousins over Mitch Trubisky every single day of the week. Now, it, it's worth noting, in the next four games, the Vikings' schedule is not easy. I think they could be, be lucky to get out of there 2-2, two and two, but they could finish 3-1. and one. In the next four games for the Vikings, they play the Eagles, the Cardinals, and the Jets. Two and two is really my expectation, but three and one is not bad. And if the Vikings go three and one in their next couple games, they'll be four, three, and one. But then their next four games are even better. They play the Lions, the Bears, the Packers, and the Patriots. I think they can finish that stretch three and one. And then the Vikings are sitting at seven, four, and one. And then for the final games, four games of the year, the Vikings will play the Seahawks, the Dolphins, the Lions, and the Bears. I think they could go 3-1 and one again in that stretch. And then guess what? The Vikings are 10-5-1. Not a shock. I think the Vikings could still very easily win 10 games, be a playoff team. I think the Vikings are okay. And even if the Vikings only win seven games, you never know. That actually might be enough to win their division. Seven, sorry, nine games. If they're 9-6-1, The Vikings could still potentially win their division because Aaron Rodgers is banged up. Do you really believe in the Bears? And I don't believe in the Lions, so I think the Vikings are okay. I wouldn't panic. I'm not concerned. I think the Vikings are going to be okay moving forward. They're a really good team that lost to maybe the best team in football on Thursday night. I'm not concerned about the Vikings at all. They're going to clean it up. They're going to make fewer mistakes on offense. Kirk Cousins is playing fantastic. Like His stats all year are incredible. I know he did well in garbage time against the Buffalo Bills, but early in that Rams game, Kirk Cousins was making throws. I was like, wow, that window is really small, and he did not hesitate at all. I mean, Kirk Cousins looked overwhelmingly confident, so I am not worried about the Minnesota Vikings even remotely. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my show, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my pride and joy. I'm very proud of it. If you're new to Strong Opinion Sports, you can subscribe to it on iTunes, SoundCloud, on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, or you can find more shorter breakout videos like the one you just watched. And if you like what I had to say, maybe you hate what I had to say, share this with your friends. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about the show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Have a great day.